understanding distance versus time graphs. What is a distance versus time graph? A distance versus time graph is a graph that shows how far an object traveled in an amount of time. You might also hear it be called a position versus time graph. From a distance versus time graph, we are able to calculate the average speed of an object. Here is an example of a distance versus time graph. This is graphing Charlie's walk to his friend's house. Our distances in meters are here on our y-axis and our time is measured on our x-axis. You will notice that Charlie starts at zero and works his way all the way up to 20 meters and it takes him 20 seconds to walk those 20 meters. But he does stop along the way and that's where this straight line is. Both of these diagonal lines show us that he's moving away from his reference point or his original starting point, which is his house, all right? On Charlie's walk, we already said that our distance is on the y-axis. Our distance will always be on the y-axis because distance depends on time. Our time will always be on the x-axis because it is an independent variable, meaning that time does not depend on anything else. Time will keep moving forward no matter what. Time is our constant. There are a few things to review when looking at a distance time graph. One thing that you need to note is how to tell when an object is moving faster or slower. On this distance time graph, we see objects A and B. They're both moving at a constant speed, and we know that because both lines are straight. They don't curve at all. Object A's constant speed, however, is faster than object B. We know this because object A is moving away from a reference point at a faster rate than object B. A straight vertical line represents an object moving at constant speed. The steeper that straight vertical line, the faster that object is moving. The object in this graph is not changing its distance over the course of the time data was collected. The line remains straight and horizontal. The key here is that a straight horizontal line represents an object that is not moving or has stopped. So whenever you see a straight horizontal line, that tells you that the object is now stopped. It is no longer moving. This curved line represents an object that is moving away from a reference point. The reference point being here and it is moving away. And as it moves away, it begins to accelerate. We can see that the line is pretty shallow here, but it becomes steeper as time goes by. So remember, time is going to start at zero and move in this direction. So as time increases, our line gets steeper and steeper. What this means is that the object started off traveling slowly and then sped up along the way. So this line is not moving at a constant speed. It is accelerating. This line is also moving away from a reference point, but as it moves away, instead it begins to slow down. I know this slide says decelerate, but remember, in physics, we would just say that it is accelerating in the negative direction. We can notice that the line is steeper in the beginning of the graph and more shallow at the end. So this means that the object started off traveling quickly and then slowed down along the way. This is where we can see an object moving in two different directions. This first line shows an object moving away from a reference point at a constant speed. This second line also shows the object traveling at a constant speed, but now it is moving back toward the reference point. This is an example we can use. Here we can say we just left our house to go to school and notice we forgot our backpack. So we quickly turn around and go home to get it.